What is going on everyone? Thank you for watching Wild Pet Family and it is Friday afternoon and tomorrow, Saturday, October 21st is a big day for two reasons. Now one, it is the opening day of rifle season here in the state of Georgia. Two, it is my six year wedding anniversary. So thank you Holly, love you. Um, but anyway, I got something cool to show you. It came in the mail and it was actually right here in this bag. So let me unpack this thing and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this right here just got off the boat from China and what it is, is a big old sheet of camouflage. So it's not just any big old sheet of camouflage. It is one that is gonna fit right over the top of this golf cart right here. That's right, all I got was a camouflage golf cart cover, but it's gonna be a multi-purpose golf cart cover because we're gonna turn this sucker right here into a mobile hunting blind. Now, you're probably thinking, isn't that illegal? Well, no, it is completely legal to park it, blind it out, and hunt out of it, but you cannot be in motion, nor can you be pursuing game. So for me to park it and hunt out of it is gonna be fantastic. Now, the spot that I'm gonna be hunting tomorrow is one that is not exactly easy to hunt. I usually bring a low sitting turkey chair, tuck in between a rotted log, well, two rotted logs, and I have a gas line that's probably about 175 yards long. Now, off to my left, I'm going to have a bedding area where the deer rest right there by the road. And then in the morning, they get out of there, they cross that gas line, and they head over to my right, which is where I have about a one acre food plot that I planted. So for me, it's a perfect pinch point for the deer that are coming from bedding to feeding, and it's a great place to rifle hunt. But I wanna get a little bit more cover and I want to hunt in more comfort as well. Not to mention, this is gonna be awesome for when the kids are old enough to go hunting with me. It's gonna be comfortable and a great first experience. But enough talking, I'm about to strap this camera to a tree and install this sucker. All right, y'all, let me introduce you to the most redneck blonde known to mankind. Now this right here is a problem that I have. It's pretty sweet. It's actually got zippers on both sides and the back, but the one problem I have is I cannot see out of the front. So I'm gonna remedy that. We're gonna put a window in it. All right, so I'm in here. <clears throat> I got the door zipped up so that it's sitting just as it would when I hunt it. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna put my window right here. Now, you need to pay attention because this is gonna get real technical. I have a pair of channel locks, a razor blade, and I got a blowtorch. So the reason that I'm cutting it like this is because I wanna heat this blade and cut my line, and this is a nylon fabric and it will not fray if it is cut with heat. There you have it, we got a window. Look, I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty dang cool. Now, even in the back, there's still a ton of space to keep dry jackets, backpacks, weapons, snacks, etc., whatever you want. And out in the front, you have a perfect shooting lane. Look, there's a deer. That's gonna be tomorrow. I mean, how cool is that? Even the windshield is the perfect height for a gun rest. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna hang that over. Keep the glare off the windshield. Yeah, pretty dang sweet. But for now, I'm gonna pack this thing back in the bag and I'm not gonna put it back on the golf cart until I get out there in the morning. So I'm gonna go inside, eat dinner, get some sleep, and I will see you in the morning. It's the next morning, opening day of rifle season, and I'm about to take it to the woods. So let's go. Well, I made it. <clears throat> now it's time to set this thing up.
this morning all within a very close vicinity to me. Now I'm surrounded by pretty big pieces of property that I leased a bunch of guys on them and uh, this is kind of like a little sanctuary strip right in the middle up until they cross my path obviously but look I can't exaggerate how awesome this is right now there's no wind um, it's just comfortable I'm covered and uh, y'all I got my gun propped up ready to go out in front I got some coffee Gatorade water cup holders and y'all if you haven't had maple syrup in your coffee with some half and half not that Aunt Jemima crap but real maple syrup that makes for a really great cup of coffee but uh y'all check this out too got the phone charging I got, got my headlamp charging everything in the back I got a spare jacket my backpack y'all this is some gourmet hunting right here and I'm absolutely loving it so it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and I've had a solid three hours sitting time and shooting light <clears throat> and I haven't seen a single thing no I'm glad that there were some guys that were a little more successful than me this morning but I can guarantee you that they were not as comfortable so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack it up I'm gonna ride over to the food plot which is about 200 yards away and I'll give you an update on how that's looking all right y'all well i just made it to the food plot and a week and a half ago this was just brown barren dirt and right now it is green and full of life let me give you a closer look so the majority of this tall green stuff that you see through here is going to be your oats and your wheat and when you look closer that's what you're looking at right here is those blades of grass but all this little stuff that are here is going to be your clovers and your brassicas like that would be a brassica and all of these little sprouts are clovers so i planted it just in the nick of time As a matter of fact there are deer tracks all through here too so the deer have found it deer are loving it they're eating the shoots and it is growing well so food plot gets a thumbs up well that right there is opening day it's a food plot update and most of all it is how i turned my golf cart into a mobile hunting blind now i'm going to be using this a whole lot more and it's going to be great for kids and people that you just want to get out in the woods um, not to mention it is really stinking comfortable so not the last time i'll be hunting out of it but thank you for watching i hope i gave you an idea and by the way that thing was like fifty dollars on amazon so maybe this is a little inspiration and uh maybe it's just not your thing but i thought it was pretty cool so i figured i'd share it with you anyway i'm gonna head back to the house get cleaned up probably take a little nap and uh yeah i'll see you on the next video oh.